result, I'm incredibly proud of it. So, I thought I'd share with the internet the age old question of how to get rid of a hangover. So, here I am, saving your lives. So, I've already done like the first steps because I was too dead to film that. Okay, basically, when you first wake up, you can lie there feeling dead for a little bit, like that you're allowed to do, that's allowed. But as soon as you can, get a drink, brush your teeth, take some medicine, take some painkillers. Um, then, have something sugary, like a sugary cereal or something. It doesn't have to be too sugary, just sweet. Um, because I don't, I don't really know. That'll make you feel better. It'll give you sugar, you know. Then brush your teeth again because the the taste of the vodka will still not be out of your mouth. And then go back to sleep because you probably woke up when you had like had had not enough sleep and you were in a lot of pain. So go back to sleep. Then, this is the step that I'm on now. Once you've woken up, make yourself some beans on toast. Beans on toast is an ancient British delicacy and you also need, to have it right, you also need some marmite because um, you need marmite. Our toaster is broken so I'm having to do it on the grill. You also need some cheese. Grated cheese over the top of your beans on toast and it will melt and it will just be so good. I'm gonna heat the beans in a saucepan. I've bought the beans with sausages just as like a little treat for myself. You've got to love yourself. Self-care and self-love. You know what? I love myself. Even though I look like a burnt chicken nugget, I still love myself. My mom's watching NCIS in the other room, so if you hear explosions... Oh shit. <laughs> Burnt my toast. The toast is always done before you think it's going to be done. So then you want to have your beans done, but the beans aren't done. And then you still have to grate the cheese. It's just a very delicate balance. Now, some people will tell you to go on a walk and the fresh air will make you feel better. They're lying. That's the devil talking. It doesn't make you feel better. I just went on a walk to get my beans. I came back with my headache like five times worse. So, don't even listen to those people. Now, this isn't a quick fix. This is, it's going to take a while and you're probably going to have to have like at least a day of doing nothing to recover, you know? Oh, no. toast. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they... Whoops. Yeah. Beans. Okay. It's cool. We can scrape it off. So then you put the butter on the toast. You're normally going to want to put the butter on as quickly as possible so that it melts. Now, okay, so you want to toast two bits of toast and then you're going to have one for the beans and one for the marmite. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people put way too much marmite on their first time and um, it's an easy mistake to make. I understand people making that mistake. You don't spread it like chocolate spread. You spread it very, very sparingly. If you spread it too much, you will be sick. Here we go. Doesn't that just look like the most appealing thing you will have ever eaten in your life? Stop it. Get some help. The second piece of toast, I like to cut it up into bite-sized pieces so that I don't have to do any biting or cutting when I'm actually eating. I mean, that's how I would recommend it. 
that each to their own. Like this, oh. So pretty. Now we pour on the beans. And you wanna get an even coverage of beans. There we go, so beautiful. I'm pretty sure Gordon Ramsay would be so impressed with this. This is single-handedly gonna cure your hangover. After you've eaten this, you're probably gonna wanna bath and brush your teeth again.